practically been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? Anata's Mortuary offers the finest quality burial robes, hand spun by skilled Asari artisans. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. Human? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Thanks to your kind. We store off-site and deliver directly to ships. Customers never touch a gun while they're on the Citadel. Make as many laws as you like, human. We'll always find loopholes. I'd like to buy something. Then use the catalog kiosk like everyone else. Tell me about your services. I sell guns. I don't think humans need any more than they already have. I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey is weak. Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I recall, you had a fleet here to protect the Council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. What are you saying? I'm saying that you're gonna help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has right now. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. Pleasure doing business with you. Go to hell. This looks interesting. We can use this! Any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Then I can do for you. I notice you're one of the groundskeepers from Presidium. Do you know if they're fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind. Where's the restroom? Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the pools. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese's gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. So they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Where is that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Alea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. No 
problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. did knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dexter DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? Let's have another one. Here you are. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone do three of these. Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up? This is genuine Batarian A. Uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Hell yeah. Put more of the stuff in the, the thing more stuff goes in. Your funeral, sister. for the discerning visitor. 
What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. What stores are in this area? Radom Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jelani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Sorry. Don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bad, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension sacrificing nearly 10,000 lives, including the previous Citadel Council. Saving everyone only happens in vids. There will be sacrifices. Being in charge means making sure they lead to the greater objective. That's a reality shared by all soldiers, in command and on the ground. Don't you dare suggest I made that call lightly. I didn't mean to accuse. You're damn right you didn't. I won't have you disrespect any of those who gave their lives that day. They are heroes, all of them. They deserve better than you. Commander Shepard, first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Nobody said this was going to be easy, but I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Odina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. The Ambassador knows how to play politics. Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the Council. They veto my suggestions and nothing changes. Truth is... I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. A bad trait for a counselor. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? <laughs> 